happened to your stocking? <laughs> Bev, you've been very antisocial. Doesn't want to get involved today. Good boy. Involved, how are you? What, no one can ever see me in this vlog. Good boy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do some bareback riding today. Well, we're going to try and ride most of them bareback. I'm actually really not very well, so probably won't ride as many as I would normally um, because yeah I'm not very well so we've done the mucking out I think I'm gonna ride Zeb bareback Rosie one bareback or video um, and let you see I've obviously ridden Zeb bareback loads we've never ridden Rosie one bareback um, I've only ridden Todd once we will ride Maximus at some point we might actually do that um, later on or tomorrow but we will do that to see because that will be quite interesting because who knows what it will be like and um, Max is just trying to get involved with Todd while Todd's having a drink and we're putting them on the walker got Todd then we've got Rosie number two and then we've got Fion back there and then Zeb at the back bit of a grim day Maximus is wanting to get involved very grey rainy and windy today the so first up is Zeb which we're a little bit muddy, actually it's worse the other side, that's only a tiny bit of mud. I'm not going to bother too much, we're going to brush a little bit of the mud where his bridle goes and the overreach boots and the boots. But because I'm ill we're just going to crack on. So I basically put this rug on for a minute because because he's got arthritis and he's quite old now. Well, he's 16, that is quite old, but um, and he's got the arthritis and it's cold and it's wet. I normally put an exercise rug on if I'm riding, so I wanted to try and keep it as you know close to what I normally would do because otherwise he is a, does get a bit cold and a bit stiff. So I'm going to attempt in this rug for a minute and probably maybe do five, ten minutes like this and then take it off. Um, it's a walker rug, so where Lauren's just shown you it actually doesn't have the shoulder bit, so he can actually move in it, because you can lunge in these. So as long as I don't slide off, which I'm wearing jeans today, so maybe not the ideal situation, but we're going to give it a go. So we've set the poles as a Christmas tree. We've used, I think, 17 poles. I actually put an extra tier into the Christmas tree poles from the video I um, looked at. It looked better if I put one more tier and it just gave a bit more room. I had a couple of horses in there working the day before. Um, so yeah, so it's 17 poles. You can see how it's shaped like a Christmas tree. It was really easy to set up. So I did Zeb first. I rode Rosie bareback for the first time and it was really windy. But she was really good and you'll see me working over the poles on both of them so you can see all the different lines that you can do. So you're going to be alright? That first 
I'll stand mm. riding that bird. I have no idea what she's going to be like. It's also really windy. Really This pole work exercise, the Christmas tree poles, you can also lunge over. So here I'm lunging max. There's a lot of variety um, you can do. So you can lunge at one end and just go over the orange point. Uh, or you could lunge over the other end and go over the two uh, brown poles. And then also if you've got a clear school and you've got a pony or horse that's quite good with the lunging, as you can see, I just started moving up and down the poles so I just started moving slightly every time he um, was circling away from me I moved up the poles quite good for them to figure out where they've got to put their feet because there's pole everywhere and it really kept Max thinking actually because he can be quite forward and fast and he kept quite a nice steady rhythm all the time so I hope you liked our video of uh, the Christmas tree pole work and bareback and the lunging on Max over the poles I, I hope it's given you some inspiration some ideas that you can do at home on your own um, and obviously you can school over it not with a saddle not being bareback we just did that to make it a bit more interesting um and then it's quite good if you can leave it up you can then lunge the next day which is what we're trying to do is kind of school them over the poles one day and then lunge them over just to keep a bit of variety uh, so i hope you like it um please let us know if there's anything else you want to see or you have any questions about the poles um and if you do like it please share like subscribe comment it would mean a lot we're really trying to get this uh, youtube channel going at the minute we're spending a lot of time editing so please if you like it um yeah share like subscribe would really appreciate it thanks and we'll see you for the next one